initial access brokers are people who specialize in just getting in the door. And mm -hmm. these may or may not be ransomware affiliates. So the way this works is uh, there's this whole like kind of like food chain going on where you have the company that's being attacked. You have an initial access uh, broker who will get in via social engineering or something else that they specialize in, some technique that they're really, really good at that's just one tiny piece of this whole operation. Once they get in, one of two things can happen. Either they are a ransomware affiliate, so they just download the software that they have paid for, like upload it to the server that the victim has exposed, mm -hmm. and then you know take a percentage of the overall amount that comes in using the ransomware brand's infrastructure. Um, that's very common. And then the people at the top who made the ransomware in the first place also get a cut of this transaction. So lots right. of criminals are kind of cashing in here. Um, the other case is that initial access broker might not be a ransomware affiliate. So they might just go and sell that to a ransomware affiliate gang. So now you have another step in the ladder where this person is turning around and just selling access and they're not getting a cut of the percentage. So right. they're incentivized to sell this yeah. as many times <laughs> as possible. So that means that you could get a company that's breached, have a post go up on a dark net forum and have three different ransomware gangs right. all purchase access to this company and then have them kick off at the same time. So the structure behind these ransomware groups is really important here because it's causing these super weird kerfuffles that like I wouldn't <laughs> think were possible. One of my favorite stories here, and it's it's buried somewhere in, inside of this, is that um, they were finding in some cases files had been encrypted five or more times. Yes, yeah. And, and the reason for this was um, the, the, the initial access broker put up the, the victim for sale um, a bunch of people bought it, and then two different ransomware gangs kicked off their ransomware at the same time. So both of these ransomware gangs are running their ransomware encryptors, and the encryptors are finding each other's files. Right. And like, that's not the right file extension that tells me that I've already encrypted this file. Right. So basically, these encryptors start like fighting each other and start <laughs> encrypting the same files over and over and over because they keep seeing each other's encrypted files and be like, mm -hmm. oh, that's another file for me to encrypt. Right. So this creates like a feedback loop where like two attackers are running <laughs> like tasks that are basically like unending. They're just like right. forever, forever encrypting on top. And for one, it totally bones the, the victim right. who oh, now yeah. has to not only negotiate with two attackers, but would need to go through like a ridiculous amount of decryption run uh, rounds in order yeah. to get this data back. It just makes the likelihood of being able to get uh, a resolution on this like so much lower.